Alhamdulillah. Great. I have a story for you today. The story is about someone very special to us as Muslims. Do you know who I'm talking about? That's right. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In a moment, In a moment, you are going to meet two of my friends, a boy named Hisham and his big sister Yusra. They are going to go on an adventure to meet some new friends and learn some new things. Do you want to go on an adventure with them? Yes! Cool! See you later! Oh boy, I'm so hungry! I could eat a whole cow! Yum, 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 yum. Hey, Shem, why are you gobbling up your burger like that? Did you even remember to say Bismillah before eating? No, I didn't. I was too hungry. Why does it matter anyway? Hey, Shem, it's Sunnah to say Bismillah before you start to eat. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam, taught us to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before we eat and to thank him for what he has given us. Why do we always have to do everything the way that Rasulullah did? Because he taught us how to do things the right way. He taught us how to be good Muslims and follow the Quran so that one day we can go to Jannah, inshallah. We have to try our best to be just like him. But why do we have to do everything exactly like him? Well, because we love him so much, we should want to be just like him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than anyone else. And as Muslims, we should love him too. He is so special to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is so special to us. But, but what makes him so special? Well, um, you know, I'm not really sure, Hisham. I never thought about that before. Hmm, maybe we should find somebody who can tell us why Mr. Allah was so special. Okay, let's go to the park. Maybe we can meet someone who can tell us. Okay, let's go. Keep her head down because it was Kate. Oh, poor Kate. Why do you sound so sad? I think she's too scared to get down from the tree. Here, Katie, let me help you. Jazakallah Hufayr, thank you for helping me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for being so much. You're welcome, Katie. Maybe you can help us too. We're trying to learn more about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sure. What do you want to know about him? We wanted to know what makes him so special. Hmm. Good question. I'm not really sure. But what I do know about him is that he was kind to all creatures, people, and animals. He would teach people to always give food and water to hungry animals and to never hurt them. Do you know the story about the cat that fell asleep on his shirt? No, we don't. What happened? Well, one time, there was a cat that fell asleep on the Prophet Sallallahu shirt. When it was time for him to go pray, he did not want to stand up because he was afraid he would wake up the cat. So instead, he cut off the part of his shirt where the cat was asleep so that he wouldn't bother the cat. Then, he was able to get up to go pray. Wow, I can't believe anyone would be that nice to a cat. Yep, he was so loving and caring even to that cat. And I think that makes him special. 
But maybe there are more reasons why. You should ask someone else. Maybe they'll know more about you. We will. The thanks for telling us that story. Yes. And I am happy I help you, Kitty, because that's what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would have done. It was nice meeting you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum I'm getting a little hungry now, yes. Mom? Here, have a few crackers in my pocket. You can have them. Thanks. Bismillah. I am very hungry. Sure, you can have all of them. Really? We've been trying to find someone who can tell us more about him. Can you tell us why he is so special? Sure. One time, the Prophet Muhammad didn't have anything to cover himself with. He really needed something to wear. Then, a woman came to him and gave him a shawl, which is like a coat. Just as he was about to put it on, somebody else came and begged him for it, and he gave it away, just like that. Wow! I can't believe he didn't keep it for himself, even though he really needed it. Yes, the Prophet wasallam, did not have a lot of things, because he was always giving away his stuff to anybody who needed it. He kept very little for himself. I hope I can be generous like that, too. Hisham, you were being generous when you shared your crackers with the duck, even though you were hungry and you wanted to eat them yourself. I am so proud of you. You're already following what you learned about the Prophet Alaihi Wasallam. That's right. Thank you, Yisra. And thank you for telling us that story, duck. Assalamu alaikum. I wonder who else we can ask about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, excuse me, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa sallam. I heard you were looking for someone who can tell you about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, we are. We wanted to know what makes him so special.